A Gallup poll of 1,236 adults showed that 12% of the respondents believe that it is bad luck to walk under a ladder. Consider the probability that among 30 randomly selected people from the 1,236 who were polled, there are at least two who have that belief. Given that the subjects surveyed were selected without replacement, the events are not independent, can the probability be found by using the binomial probability formula, why or why not? We're going to go through the book a little bit here and look at some, a couple of pages that are going to allow us to answer this question. One of the things that we need to look at is on page 210. It says here in this yellow box that a binomial probability distribution results from a procedure that meets all of the following requirements. One is that the procedure has a fixed number of trials. In this problem, we have 30 trials. The probability that among 30 randomly selected people, so we're going to select 30. The trials must be independent. The outcome of any individual trial doesn't affect the probabilities in the other trials. Well, in that problem, it was stated that since the subjects were selected without replacement, the events are not independent. So on the face of it, it seems like we can't use the binomial distribution. But let's look through the book a little more. If we go to page 158, we see that we have a guideline for treating dependent events as independent, the 5% guideline for cumbersome calculations. When calculations with sampling are very cumbersome and the sample size is no more than 5% of the size of the population, treat the selections as being independent even if they are actually dependent. So if the sample size is no more than 5% of the size of the population. So looking at the problem again, we see that our sample size is 30 and the size of the population is 1,236. So doing this calculation then, we would go 30 divided by 1,236, and we would find that value to be 0 0.024 or 2.4 percent, which is less than 5 percent. So now let's look through these answers. The top one says yes, although the selections are not independent, they can be treated as being dependent by applying the 5 percent guideline. And again, that guideline is when the calculations with sampling are very cumbersome and the sample size is no more than 5%. We found it to be 2.4% of the population. So this is the appropriate selection. Yes, although the selections are not independent, they can be treated as being dependent by applying the 5% guideline. And in this result here, it says only 30 people are randomly selected from the group of 1,236, which is less than 